Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a weekend message for the Earth Signs. So if it resonates, awesome. Appreciate you subscribe, like, and share it out so you think it resonates too. I do appreciate you, tribe. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the information is down below. And if you want to donate to the channel, it is highly appreciated. So let's get the main energy for my Earth Signs towards Capricorn and Virgos. I'm sending you love, peace, and blessings whenever you receive this message. What's the main energy for this weekend? What's the main energy? Strength card. Something is asking you to be strong and overcome the obstacles that may come your way. Maybe somebody wants to trigger you. 1984 could be significant. Something about the next 48 hours. All right, Leo, Mars. This is Leo season. Something is requiring you to um, remove distractions here. Okay. Something is coming out of Cancer placement. Something about Monday, maybe. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Maybe you counting your days. You counting down something. Yeah, a tower moment. Something's over. The death card, something backfired on somebody. Two of swords here. You're going to find out something that somebody was blocked from your energy, that they cannot pull on your energy anymore. February the 13th could be significant. Have you on a Scorpio right here? So somebody that was obsessed with you was constantly doing dark magic against you. They could have been doing comeback spells, come back to me spells to you. The nine of cups here, yeah. Cause somebody know that you wasn't gonna come back willingly to them. All right, seven of wands. Yeah, you're being guided to protect your energy from this nine of cups here. This could be a sibling or a lover, ex-lover who's very immature. They could be younger than you. You could have kids with this person or this person's very childish. I feel like they only come around to start drama and then they leave again. This could be a lover. This could also be a friend here who instigates and start drama, get you into deep end shit, and then they hide their hands or something. Very um, malicious. Somebody wants to come back with a half-ass energy like nothing happened. Okay, this could be a friend here. Girl, that was nothing. Trying to play something off. So expect to hear from this homegirl or homeboy who's going to play something off like they didn't do nothing wrong to you or... They're going to be like, well, you know, trying to make it seem like you're the issue for having an issue or whatever they did that you know they did. I know what you did. You did it. Okay. So maybe you're going to be confronting somebody and this may end the friendship. You calling your power back and you ending up this relationship or friendship for good is what caused like the, the soul tie to be disconnected because you can have soul ties with friends and family, you know, especially if you were close to them. You know, since that you are a child or something, this could even be a childhood friend who is spying on you, trying to get you to come back and be their friend again. This could also be somebody you had a one night stand with or that it didn't go far. It was like a sneaky link energy. And this person who wants you for good or something, wanted to trap you with a baby for some of you guys. What else do we have? Thank you. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of people are spying on you, trying to see what you're up to, asking around about you. It's a whole lot of gossip about you this weekend, Earth Signs. You the talk of the town because you are no longer, like, maybe you blocked them, maybe you stopped talking to them, and now they can't spy on you or something. Yeah, Earth Sign, I feel like somebody looking for you or something, or somebody's asking around about you to see what you're up to, to get some type of truth, or try to see what you know about a situation here. Or they trying to keep you from like telling somebody what they did to you or something like that. Or this, yeah, or how they are, because you may know their secrets and they're trying to keep you from telling people. Yeah, 411, somebody's trying to get the 411 on you. They could be like getting background checks on you, trying to see where you work at. Something about heavy on the lurking energy. Yeah, somebody could definitely be an Aquarius here or a Cancer. Or somebody's looking online in secret, making fake pages, catfishing you. Or signs. So this weekend you may um, find out who's been catfishing you or been lying. Yeah, it could be somebody who's a, a feminine here. You could be a divine feminine and you have a hating hoe that's been a hating. Some about she wears a lot of makeup. Um, she could have a low cut for some of you guys and she dyed it blonde or pink. This could be you. This could be char characteristics of you. Uh, but if somebody was doing beauty spells on you because they was in secret competition with you. And this could be, this could be a homegirl, homeboy, and they mess with your person or the person you stop messing with. It's like your homegirl, homeboy went to go 
see if they can get them, you know, getting your leftovers. And when this person that is infatuated by you, this lover, turned them down or didn't go far with them, this friend got mad at you. Because now in her head or his head, you are the problem. Because you're beautiful, you're attractive, and you have a beautiful soul, and everybody wants you. That's none of your, yeah, somebody slept with your person. Somebody slept, a friend slept with your person. Either you caught them or you almost caught them. Some For some of you guys, this person was in bed with, in your bed with your person. And this homegirl knows what your bed looked like. You, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you want to lose respect for this person. You want to find something out. And you're going to be like, you a fake ass hoe. Like, I don't know. Yeah, mama said it's going to be rainy days. That's what she said. Maybe your mother don't like this person. Maybe you always been warned about this whole friend. If it's not by a mother, it's by maybe your ancestor. Your intuition told you this person was nothing but trouble. This friend. This friend was nothing but trouble. Or this lover was nothing but trouble. You know? But now you're understanding. Yeah, somebody could be relapsing. Somebody could be on drugs. Or your friend is selling cat or doing... Yeah, she's heavily on drugs. She don't know who she is anymore. She's a... She's hallucinating some type of identity crisis. Yeah, you, you know this. You can see this for yourself or somebody's spilling the tea. Somebody's gossiping about you. I also feel like this friend is gossiping about you saying this, all this stuff that's about her. She's on drugs, he's on drugs, and she's doing this and that. She's trying to say that's you. So she's trying to switch y'all stories before you tell the truth about her or something so you can look crazy. That's what I'm getting at. Um, but the real tea is going to come out. Because somebody about to tell it like it is. Somebody don't play that. Yeah, somebody's envious and they feel guilty. Like I said. Because you want to tell something that you know about this person. Because you change as a person. But maybe this friend is telling your past. Or saying something that's really about them. They're lying. Because they're worried that you want to tell the truth. Yeah, you won't surrender. She's paranoid. Yeah, that you in in this friendship or you need to because this is a fake friend. Yeah, love, fake love here. Patience. Be patient for your tribe to come in. Cause the right people gonna come in. Not these hating ass hoes. Alright. <laughs> yeah, something about some of y'all gonna be finding out you have money here. Somebody stressed out about your finances, like cause somebody's trying to keep up with the Joneses or trying to keep up with you. And now they, they don't want to look bad, okay? They've been social media, they've been fronting like they this, that, and the third. And now the truth won't come out that they wasn't none of this. This could be somebody who's like rich flexing online. Oh yeah, I got this, I got that. And she's afraid to be exposed on how she got that. But some of y'all, she's selling a cat. Some of you guys, this friend is not living the way she says she's living. Yeah, okay, this could be an older woman who's trying to keep up with the youngins here. This could even be y'all mom, like y'all own mama. For some of you guys, somebody's trying to keep up by doing beauty spells on you. If it's not a mama, it's a sibling or a friend or friend of the family. Whoever this woman is here who be giving you false advice and shit. Who wants to see you with nobody. Who wants to be with the people that you were with. This is the other woman. Want to be with the people you were with. Want your leftovers. Because she thinks she going to hit the jackpot. She, she mad that you won. Like, that you abundant. Because she was really secretly competing with you and sleeping with your person and she thought your person was going to leave you for and the tables turned you left them for <laughs> you know that's how it be some of you guys are moving relocating because i don't feel like you want to be around this drama no more yeah and some of you guys are getting new job opportunities charity this is the monday message maybe you won't find out you're going to get a call from a job or a job offer or a new opportunity offer. Your business is going to be um, busy, busy and booked this weekend. And you being guided to take the money. They say, go ahead and work this weekend, or son. Because something about August the 4th or something about the 4th week of August, you about to go on a trip or something. I am becoming the best version of myself. All right, you could be a hustling on the side and then have a main job. And you doing your damn thing. Like, yeah. Okay. I am proud of my decisions. Yeah, you're becoming the best version of you. You're proud of your decisions. Um, I am proud of who I become. Your spirit is very proud of you. 
for working on yourself and not allowing this stuff to hinder you or get you off track you know don't allow other people negativity to affect you and what you got going on because that's their problem that's personal honey that ain't got nothing to do with you so keep yourself a distance from haters here because that can really grow into some type of fatal attraction and some shit like that like stay away from them because they will have a whole story in their head that's not even true about you about themselves they living in a fair dirt delusional uh, you know how i said that man was delusional in that water sign reading this woman is delusional in this earth sign reading and then a man a man want to come back after they done did you dirty or something all right, they're gonna try to trap you with a baby or something so be careful because then they're gonna be like i don't want to ever leave earth sign again that type of energy but they was out here buying buying cats and dogs all right <laughs> i hope this resonated if it did you know what to do love you guys